Have, have you ever been involved in, uh, every year my son and I go out and uh, pick up trash on our road. Have you ever done that? No. Oh my God. Is there a lot of trash? <laughs> the variety of trash is sickening. What's the wor worst thing you've found? Gatorade bottles full of urine. Well, that's because people don't want to stop. I understand that. <laughs> I have to use the bathroom now. You don't see me calling for an empty jug of Gatorade. Did, did they have the lid on it? Did it it's all sealed up, yeah. And, 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 and Harry invariably will say, hey, Dad, look, Gatorade. And I say, yeah, I wonder what flavor that is. And we both laugh real hard. <laughs> Ironically, in 2008, the best candidate for president on climate change was uh, McCain mm -hmm. because he was talking about uh, price on carbon. I've had people explain this to me. I don't understand it. And I think, okay, probably I'm not the dumbest man in America. But You sell yourself short. But you know what I'm saying? Is there, a, is there something more obvious that people could grasp? What I want to do is get a colleague of mine, Sheldon Whitehouse, to explain a price on carbon. Oh, God. I mean, great. I, I just have no attention span. Okay. Sheldon! <laughs> 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 Sheldon! Uh, Sheldon Whitehouse, uh, meet David Letterman. David Letterman. Nice to see you. Nice Sheldon see you. is the expert on climate change. He is actually the, the greatest champion on this issue. Congratulations. So he is going to explain pricing right. to you. Can you explain it to me whereby all of us will understand it? If you're going to have a market with competition and you have one product that doesn't poison anybody and another product that poisons a lot of people, you want to try to bake the cost of that poisoning into right. the cost of this product. That's what a carbon price does. It takes the poisoning of oceans and of people and of the atmosphere, gives it a price, and puts that cost into the price of the product. So for a person like me, this is the uh, equivalent of uh, cigarettes. We used to be 30 cents a pack. They're now $12 a pack. Because we understand yes. that the okay. poisoning of people associated with that product right. is something that we all pay for the health care right. for those poisoned people. And it's the same with farmers who get crushed by drought, foresters whose fires burn, and fishermen in Rhode Island who can't catch whiting or uh, winter flounder any longer because they've all moved seeking cooler waters. Rhode right. Island is the ocean state. Thanks, Al. I've seen the license plates. <laughs> Excuse the expression, I'm beating a dead horse here because I know on the other side of the aisle the same wisdom does exist but is not manifested. Every Republican who has worked this through to a solution out there, essentially all of them come to the same solution, which is a price on carbon that is revenue neutral, where you give the money back so you're not creating more big government. And we more or less have said yes. Well, that's good. I, I feel better about it. Oh, we're good. Yeah. It's also known as Little Roadie. So it is. Yeah. Uh, Rhode Island. Oh. Okay, thank you, Sheldon. Thank you, Al. Yes. Appreciate it. Great pleasure meeting you. Pleasure meeting you. Thank Thanks you, very much. Good luck. Yes, sir. I don't know why we didn't I don't know why we didn't begin with him. I don't know either. I I I because uh, he knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's talking about. And he was talking about fishing off of Rhode Island. You know, Maimonides said something to the effect of uh, give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. And then I've added, unless there are no fish. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw that that show that you did, Years of Living Dangerously. You know what, what uh, struck me in that show is that you appeared to be so uh, stupid in it. Mm -hmm.